What's going on YouTube, Primal here, and today guys I'm going to be going over my top 5 metal weapons to use in MP ranked as well as my honorable mentions. So starting off with the honorable mentions, we have the DLQ slash the Locust. So here we go. So DLQ and Locust are two of the number one snipers in my opinion. Perfect for any um, sniper player that is good of landing an upper body shot, close headshot. Um, the buffs to the buff to Locust, you can feel better of the ADS. Um, the buff to DLQ is mainly a more of a BR buff. Um, still felt the same to me, in my opinion, for MP and long for DLQ. So here's my Locust build. Um, personally, I think I'll I would remove the laser and put on FMJ if I was on nah, yeah FMJ if I was on a map that I knew had wall bang both spots especially if I'm 1v1 in on let's say shoot um kill house um because spawns are always in back left back right and they will swap to where you spawn at so sorry if I gave out the spawn locations of the main spawn locations for that map, but if you're one v one on that map and have FMJ on that or on the DLQ, you're going to be able to wall bang in one shot if you know exactly where the person's going to be spawned in at. Also, before I go any further, I want to say, guys, thanks so much for the love and support you guys gave me on vacation. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to be going back to daily uploads, so I hope you guys enjoyed the content I will be bringing to you guys. Also, if you haven't entered the giveaway, giveaway ends on the 14th. So yeah, so the also can we hit five likes or more on the number on the top five med weapons for this video, please? And thank you, much love. Um, so next honorable mention is the KM44. KM44 is the way I have it built, it acts like a SMG on steroids, but an AR form of being able to beam similar to CVR before all the nerfs it received and then the buffs it received, but it's like the very first base version of the CBR is what it feels like, in my opinion. So next up we have the Kilo 141. So, I've tried out one of the pro players' builds from World Champs, one of Tribe's builds from World Champs. It's a, I love the build and all, I just prefer faster ADS, even though I, I want to say it was Jez's, uh, no, 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 not Jez's, Tech's build for the um, Kilo 141 is a straight up beam. Yeah, it has a slower ADS, but when you shoot it, you literally melt the person with that build. Um, alright. So, next we are going to be going into the Fennec. So, this is my personal build, and I'll show you one of my, um, rank partner buddies and show off his build as well. So, hold on a sec. Oops. Um, so here is his build. Um, honestly, both builds are extremely good beams and excellent in close core maps. Um, especially such as Summit on Hardpoint. Uh, on the P2, you can get extremely mixy of if you have good wet HUD for hip firing. Um, either build, in my opinion, are perfect hip fire build. So, yep. And the final honorable mention is the SKS. The SKS has been seen a lot of competitive play recently that I've seen and used. And is one of the better um, marksman slash, well, yeah, it's a marksman rifle. Better marksman rifle to use overall, especially you have a good handle on the SKS overall based on your HUD. Then this build is for you. I highly recommend using it and I am trying to get some good... I'm trying to get a good lobby with the SKS for using it, but right now I've just been dealing with so many SMGs. It's like, give me high rise and I will be 
able to snipe out my mind. But yeah, until I get high rise, I'm unable to record it right now. It's like, yeah, I need to learn to use it on other maps, but I'm trying to get the better feel for it. Because right now, it's a little uncomfortable in rank based on how many people are just spamming which are the next meta weapons, but you'll see them soon. So coming in at the number five slot, we have Chopper. The Chopper is one of the is one of two spray and pray guns, perfect for wall banging um, walls or areas of hard points or domination areas f to keep enemy teams from pers per per bleh. Pushing certain lines or getting into certain line areas. For example, shoot house, if you go top office and are out looking the window, you can get a hold over P4 and hold down that area pretty hard. Um, P3 area, hold that down hard as well. So, yeah. Um, next up in number four slot, we have the Holger. The Holger is still a real good LMG go and use I personally only use it if I'm forced to of being out flanked by multiple Holger or chopper users. Um with the no stock you have it act as an AR, especially with a forty percent ADS boost. And I and yes, I did say forty percent ADS boost. So yeah. So in the number three slot we have CBR. This is one of my two builds I use for the CBR. Um, this right here will help slow down your opponents fast, dead in their tracks, and I've seen it used on me multiple times. Of I'm trying to pre-fire a corner and get hit by the um, CBR in private lobbies, and I'm like, hmm, okay. So my other build is. So here's the other build. So. I also want to say apologies for the first CBR build. Um, the rear grip tape for the first one with mono attachment is supposed to be with the granulated grip tape. So feel free to use it if you want. In the number two slot, we have the Krig 6. Krig 6 has been seeing a lot of ranked gameplay. Um, also, I just want to say that the Krig, the SKS, CBR, and are all high skill weapons needed of um for the cbr you need to make sure you hit the upper body shots consistently in order to get that three top consistency same with the krig six but two upper body shots and one up one headshot in order to make a head a three shot kill so going in at the number one slot i'll give you five seconds guess what it is five four three Two, one. It is the PP19 Bison. I personally um, now see why people are saying that the Bison is the number one meta weapon for the season based on the um, buffs it has received recently and overall how it feels. Um, personally, um, some people will say, oh, this is an easy gun to use. Um, I would agree, yes it is, but in the past when the, it wasn't the way it was, it was a harder weapon I would have used, really, because the original base version of this felt better, but when it received the initial nerfs before the now recent buffs and all, I could feel that it wasn't what I expected it to be, but yeah. Um, this is a three-shot PP-19 Bison. Feel free to use it if you want. Alright, guys, I am sorry if I rambled too much and caused this video to go over too long. I am terribly sorry for my in-depth analysis, and I will see you next one. Take it easy, guys, and peace.